making a hot artichoke and spinach dip. So I have two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. I have softened because we're gonna mix it all up before we put it in the skillet. And then we're gonna mix it with some mayonnaise. So I have a cup of mayonnaise, a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of grated Parmesan. Of course, we have the usual suspects. We have two cans of quartered um, artichoke hearts that I have drained and I just ran them uh, ran a knife through them to chop them up a little bit and I have a 12 ounce bag of frozen chopped spinach we are not going to heat this we are not going to squeeze it dry we're just gonna throw it right in and we're gonna start everything off by sauteing eight ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms with some butter and garlic so that's what we're gonna head on out to do right now all right I've gone ahead and I've melted the butter in the skillet now I have this on a medium high almost all the way to high but we're going to toss in our garlic get that going then we're going to toss in our mushrooms now this is just an eight ounce container or a half a pound of sliced cremini mushrooms you can use white button mushrooms or whatever you like that is entirely too large so you want to if there's some bigger pieces you might want to break it up because just like with the artichokes you want these pieces to incorporate really well now keep in mind these will cook down quite a bit so by the time we're done sauteing these off they're not going to be nearly as big but I do like to break them up just a little because then there's a little bit in every bite okay so we're gonna let these sweat out and we'll be back when it's time to move on all right our mushrooms are where they need to be I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start tossing in all the other veggies giving everything a good stir as we go um, the beauty part about this dip is really you can't mess it up and like I said I'm not going to thaw out that spinach I'm not going to cook it ahead of time because we're just getting everything in here and it's going to add a little bit of moisture that frozen spinach will add a little bit of moisture and it will help to loosen everything up and you really do want that in here I know a lot of people think that it's super necessary to you know s totally squeeze dry that frozen spinach but if you do things the right way not completely necessary at all okay I'm gonna go ahead and toss the cream cheese in here that's already soft and I'm going to put the mayonnaise in in with all the mayonnaise so that's a cup of mayonnaise two bricks of cream cheese and now we're just going to go ahead and get everything mixed in here together and as this heats everything's going to meld together it's going to be beautiful you just want everything to melt together and become beautiful and cohesive we're going to add in our parmesan cheese and our mozzarella cheese and I'm going to go in here in just a few minutes after I get all of this mixed in and I'm going to add in more cheese to the top get this all mixed in so it melts and is delicious and ooey gooey and I'm just gonna clean up the edges a little I'm gonna cover the top with more of this shredded mozzarella and this is like an Italian blend so it's got like Asiago mozzarella Parmesan provolone Romano Fontina it's beautiful so you use what you like if you guys like something different it'll all work here um, but just make sure it's an Italian cheese then I'm gonna hit it with some more parm just to give it a nice little topping and that'll give it a little extra bite it'll be delicious so that's how you make the spinach artichoke dip I have mine is warming over in the skillet so you can see how delicious this is I just have some baguette here this is a favorite the spinach and artichoke dip you know you go to your favorite restaurant and they serve this sometimes with chips I like it better with a beautiful piece of French bread you can also serve this in a bread bowl nobody is gonna turn this down no matter how you serve it definitely a special treat and perfect for the holidays I'm not kidding if you always wanted to know how to make spinach artichoke dip but never knew how, there you go. Now this crab dip is delicious. It's more like a spread, so we actually serve it with some crackers and it's super easy to make. It's great if you're planning a holiday party because you can make it a couple of days in advance and you can just put some plastic wrap on it and stick it in your extra fridge. Uh, I got this recipe from someone, oh my gosh, 
uh, circa 1992-93, something like that. So uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. I'm using two bricks, eight ounces each, of softened cream cheese. I have one pound of lump crab meat. I buy this locally. It is Atlantic Blue Crab and it is fresh from the ocean. Probably this morning it was hand-picked. I'm fortunate enough to live on the coast where I can just run down to the fishmonger and buy fresh crab. If you cannot do that, you have a couple of options. You can use canned crab. Two cans of uh, crab meat flake. Also another alternative is uh, the imitation crab meat which is made with a white fish. You know that? Tastes really good as well. So you can use whatever your budget allows for and uh, whatever you have available to you in your neck of the woods. I have one recipe of my homemade cocktail sauce. We're going to be using, I have about four green onions, white and green part, all chopped up here. We're gonna put some in it and some on it. I have the juice of one large lemon, so it's about a quarter of a cup. For seasonings, I have a teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and seafood seasoning. First thing you wanna do is get your mixer out and, and beat your softened cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. That's easy enough. Now I'm gonna just scrape down the bowl. Now I'm going to go ahead and use, not all of this crab meat is going in here. I'm gonna use about half of this. This is a one pound container. That means it's approximately two cups. I'm gonna use about half of it in the crab dip itself and I'm gonna use some of it on the top. That means I'm probably not gonna use all of it. So I'll have some left over to make a delicious crab omelet in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna put half of these green onions in with the crab, just like that. We're gonna leave some to put on top all of our seeds seasonings, sprinkle it right on, and our lemon juice. And then we're going to get our mixer back in here and we're going to, you're just going to blend everything together slowly. And that's the hardest thing you have to do with this dip. Next, I'm going to grab a pie plate and then we're going to finish putting this all together. Now I went ahead and I just um, scraped the cream cheese and crab mixture into a pie plate. I like making this in a pie plate. It makes it super easy to transport and it also makes it easy to serve because if you're gonna put this in the middle of a table and people are gonna be all around, it makes it really easy for multiple people to have access to the dish. Just spread this evenly in here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure it's as even as possible because it makes it, it makes for a nice looking dish. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the cocktail sauce on top. You may or may not use the entire recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it. Now, we'll go ahead and take some of this leftover crab meat. Of course, it's not really leftover. Extra crab meat. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers and sprinkle it on the top. That way, everybody knows this is crab dip because there's crab on the top. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some of these additional green onions over the top and your crab dip is finished. I am going to be serving this with some buttery crackers. So like a club cracker or a townhouse or a Ritz is a perfect go along here. Also some sliced baguette is nice if that's something people would enjoy. Celery sticks are also an amazing go along with this. So you really, can make up your own mind as to what you're gonna serve this with. This would be really good spread on a flip-flop, I'm not gonna lie. It's absolutely delicious, and it's the perfect thing to put on your holiday buffet. This is how you make my delicious cold crab dip. Super easy to make, great to make in advance, up to three days. I wouldn't go any further out than that, especially if you're using fresh crab meat, and just stick it in your fridge, tightly wrapped, and it'll be perfect on the day of your party, or whenever you're gonna be taking it. If, you're, if you've been invited to bring something. I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. Today we're gonna be making Mexican street corn dip. So we have approximately four cups of fresh bread and butter corn that I have cut from the cob. And then we're gonna saute that with some white onion. Actually, this is a sweet onion, about a half a cup. We're gonna saute also two cloves of garlic. Quarter cup of poblano chili pepper that I have minced. You can feel free to leave that out if you don't like the heat. You can sub out jalapeno or whatever spicy pepper you like. If you don't like the heat, you can use red and green or a combination of bell pepper in here as well. We're going to make this into a creamy deliciousness by using a softened eight ounce brick of cream cheese, a half cup each of sour cream and mayonnaise, and then we're going to flavor it up with the zest and juice of one lime, a teaspoon each of ground cumin, 
chili powder, and Mexican oregano. Also a teaspoon of salt, cracked black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. We're also gonna be using two tablespoons of butter to saute all of our veggies in before we create this delicious warm dip. And then we're gonna mix in about a half a cup of fresh chopped up green onion and we're gonna top it all off with some of this crumbled cotija cheese. So I'm gonna go grab the frying pan and we're gonna get started. All right, we've got our butter all melted and now we're gonna go ahead and saute up our veggies. Get this corn in here. You can go ahead and use frozen corn. So I've used, there's about four cups here. So I filled up that quart jar all the way to the brim and that is four cups. So what you're essentially gonna do is just give this a good saute until you see some of the corn start to get those nice brown color on it and everybody's gonna be happy. What I'm also gonna add in here right now is our poblano chili or our green pepper or if you're gonna use jalapeno that, our onion and our garlic. Give everything a good toss and get everything well coated with the butter in the pan and then just stand here and Saute this, oh my goodness, it smells mm -hmm. incredible already. You're just gonna saute this up until the onion becomes translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my dry seasonings because that's gonna help them bloom and give this even that much more flavor. Uh, I was just telling Rick, this smells so good just with the sauteed vegetables. This right here, you could stop after everything's good and cooked. And you can just serve this as a side dish, like a Mexi corn or something like that. I'm gonna wait till the onions are nice and soft and then I'll come back. This has had about eight minutes in the skillet. I have been stirring it pretty much constantly. The onions have softened, they're a little bit translucent and the corn is heated through. It's nice and golden and we gave it a taste and it's delicious. Like Just you could stop right now exactly. and eat a bowl and be very happy at that time. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna turn off my burner, I'm gonna set this skillet aside and then we're gonna come and make the creamy filling part. All right, we're gonna mix up the creamy goodness part of this dip. So I have a brick, which is eight ounces or half a pound of cream cheese that has been softened to room temperature in with our mayonnaise and our sour cream. And we're just gonna give that a really good stir. And we're gonna go in with our green onions, the zest of one lime and the juice of that same lime. Give this a real good stir as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the corn in the creamy goodness. We've got our corn in here with our cream cheese mayonnaise and sour cream mixture. Just give this all a lovely little stir. You want everything to be well combined. All right, I have created a little vignette for you with our Mexican street corn dip. It's all ready to serve up. I think this would be a great option if you're invited to a barbecue gathering, get together, potluck. But this is totally something different. It's totally something delicious and I totally know you're gonna love it. make a little bit something sweet and delicious that you can share any time of year. But you know, we like to bring out these sweet treats at the holidays. So what we're gonna start with is one eight ounce brick of cream cheese softened, a 12 ounce container of marshmallow cream, one, I believe this was an eight ounce tub of whipped topping. I have a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of lemon juice, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one can of cherry pie filling. You can use whatever kind of pie filling you like, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, apple, peach. You make this yours. Today we're gonna do cherry because it's festive and Christmassy looking and I think pretty traditional. I'm gonna go ahead and soften this cream cheese just with the mixer. So we're gonna go in with the sour cream and the marshmallow cream. And there's probably a whole bunch of different versions of this out on the interwebs. And if you have a favorite version, that's what you should do. But I thought this would be a fun something to share for Christmas. I'm going to add in my lemon juice and my vanilla, and we're gonna beat this together. So now we've got our beautiful cream cheese mixture all ready to go. All you have to do now 
is fold in this Cool Whip. Just fold it in. You don't want to use the mixer because it'll deflate that. When you fold in, you just go down in the middle, come up the side, and flip it. Turn the bowl, go down the middle, up the side, and flip it. Now, we're going to put this in a pie dish so that we can like serve it on a dessert tray or a buffet. It's a great thing to take to a picnic or potluck. And then what we're just gonna do is we're gonna take our can of cherry pie filling or whatever pie filling you choose to use and just spoon it on the top. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Now, all you need is some graham crackers well, there you have it. Our cheesecake dip is all ready to go. If you if you just take this to like a potluck or to put on a dessert buffet to share, just make sure you take plenty of graham crackers and then you're just gonna dip it right on in and then that's how you're gonna eat it. Just like that. That is how you make a delicious cherry cheesecake dip. I hope you give this a try sometime soon and I hope you love it.